Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in simplification of SOP using KMAP. Procedure for the simplification of sum of products expression using KMAP method. Sum of product is nothing but min terms. The first step is to plot the KMAP based on the number of variables given in the Boolean expression and then place once in the respective cells. After that, we have to group the adjacent ones as pairs, squads, octets, etc. So, we are going to group the ones like this. So, it can be like one, two ones or four ones or eight ones like that. Then we have to make sure that all ones are grouped and encircled. Finally, we have to form the simplified Boolean expression by summing the product terms of all ones. Okay, so here these are the steps to be followed for the simplification of SOP. The first problem is to simplify the Boolean expression using KMAP and obtain the minimum SOP form. So here it is the SOP that is sum of products we are going to use min terms. The function f is equal to a bar b bar c plus a bar b c plus a bar b c bar plus a b c plus a b c bar. So here three only three variables are used a b c correct. So here n is equal to what three. N is equal to 3 means how many cells we need to have? So, we need to have 2 power 3 is nothing but 8 cells. So, this is the K map for this expression. So, we have to consider A as a row variable. The combination of B and C as the column variables. Okay. So, here it is A bar 0. Here A 1. B bar C bar. B bar C. B C. B C bar. Okay, so first we have to place all the values. Okay, A bar, B bar, C. A bar, B bar, C. So first we have to put 1 for this value, for this term. Okay, so next A bar, B, C. So A bar, B, C. So then we have to place the value 1 here and then A bar, B, C bar. So A bar is here, then B, C bar is here. Place the value 1 here and then A, B, C. So, A is here, A, B, C. Then we have to place that value 1 here. Then A, B, C bar. A, here it is A, B, C bar. So, here we can place 1. So, first step is what? To plot the K map. Then we have to place the value 1. Okay, the value 1 in the respective cells. So, what is the next step? We are going, we are going to group the ones here. So, here 1, 1, 1. So, 4 ones are together. We can make a group like this. So, here only 1 is there. So, we can make another group like this. So, overlapping is allowed, right? So, here we can have 2 groups. Then we have to write the expression here. The f is equal to for this group. Okay, for this group. What is the common value? A bar. Correct? So, A bar is a common value. We can write A bar. What about the common value in the column? So, here it is B bar. Here it is B. Okay. So, B, B bar plus B is nothing but 1. So, we have to consider only C here. So, A bar C. Is that okay? So, for this group, we can have the value A bar C. Then, we have to consider this 4. Okay, so since we are talking about sum of products, we have to represent each group with its product value. Okay, so next, this group. This group can be considered as, what is the common term for this two row? It is A bar A. So, A bar plus A is equal to 1. So, it is different 1. So, there is no common term. So, we have to consider these two columns. So, here B is a common. C, here it is C bar. So, we have to consider only B. So, this is the answer. So, each group can be represented with its product term 
Finally, we have to sum all the product terms together. This group is nothing but A bar C. This group is represented as B. Okay. So, finally, we have to add this to to get the simplified expression. So, this Boolean complex Boolean expression is simplified as A bar C plus B. This is the answer. The next problem is to reduce the given Boolean expression to its minimum SOP form using k -map. So, here the given is sum of product term that is min terms. This is the given Boolean expression which is very lengthy and complex one. We are going to simplify this Boolean expression using k -map. So, here in this expression four variables are used a, b, c and d. So, for this four variables n is equal to 4 then we need to have 2 power 4 that is 16 cells. So, this is the k map. What is the first step in simplification process? Yes, we have to plot the k map for the given number of variables. So, here we can take a, b as the row variables, c, d as the column variables. Okay. So, we have to plot the k map like this. After plotting the k map, we have to place the values for each min term. So, here what is the first term? A bar, B bar, C bar, D. So, here A bar, B bar, that is the first row. Then C bar, D. C bar, D means what? The second column. So, this is the first min term. So, we have to place the value 1 here. So, next A bar, B, C bar, D. So, here A bar B means second row. So, second row here C bar D means second column. So, here we have to place the 1. Then A bar B C D. So, A bar B means second row. C D means third column. Put 1 over here. Next A bar B C D bar. So, A bar B C D bar. So, here it is 1. Next A B C bar D bar. A, B means third row. C bar, D bar means first column. After that, A, B, C bar, D. A, B is the third row. C bar, D is the second column. Put 1 here. And then A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D means third row, third column. And the last one is A, B bar, C, D. A, B bar means fourth row. And here C, D. C, D means the third column. So, this is what the second step. We have to place the values for each min term in the k map. Okay. The next step is to group the number of ones. Okay. So, now we are going to group the number of ones as pair, quad or octave. Okay. So, here we have to make a group like this. This one and this one. Because this one is having only one option to group with an adjacent one like this. Likewise, this one is having only one chance to group with an adjacent one like this. Okay. So, likewise, we can group all the ones. So, in this uh, expression, okay, so in this Boolean expression, there is no possibility of grouping octaves. That is 8 ones. But there is a possibility of uh, grouping 4 ones here. That is quad. Okay. That quad is available over here. But there is no need to group this for ones. Okay. Because the quad have already grouped with the some other groups. So, this one is grouped with this one. And this one is grouped with this one. This one combined with this. This one combined with this. So, nothing is isolated. So, there is no need to make this four ones together. Okay. So, after grouping the ones, the next step, we are going to write the simplification form. So, for this group, okay. So, consider this group. For this group, the common value. Okay. So, the what is the common value here? It is A, B. A, B is the common value. For these two columns, Okay, what is the common value? Here C bar, C bar, here it is D bar, here it is D. Okay, so we can consider only the common variable. So C bar. 
we can write c bar so this group can be represented as a b c bar so this is over next come to this so here the for this group the common variable okay so from this side here a bar a bar so plus a bar okay for this column it is c bar d this is common for this two ones right so we can write c bar d plus next it is over come to this point okay so for this group the common value is a bar b right so we can write a bar b for this two column the common is c so c okay plus for the last one here okay so for this group the common variables are c d okay c d so in this row we can take the common as a so here it is a so finally we can write the given boolean expression can be simplified as a b c bar plus a bar c bar d plus a bar b c plus a c d so this is the final answer okay so this complex expression is simplified as a b c bar plus a bar c bar d plus a bar b c plus a c d the next problem is to simplify the given boolean expression the boolean function f is equal to summation of 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 12, 13 and 14. In the previous examples, the problems are given directly with its variables. Correct? But in this problem, they have given an expression in terms of min terms. Summation represents what? Sum of products that is SOP. Here, the 0, 1, 2, 4, all these values represent the min terms okay so for this we need to plot the k map like this four variables we have to consider four variables are a b c and d okay so in this one this values okay so the place values of each min term you should all remember this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here it is now 8 okay 8 9 10 11 and then 12 13 14 15 so you have to remember this place values of min terms then only you can directly place the values of uh, this min terms in this schema is that okay so here you have to remember the place values of min terms okay 0 0 0 it is 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 3 so likewise its values are mentioned like this so now we are going to place the values given in the expression into this k map. So, first value is what? 0. So, you have to place the value 1 in that box. Okay. Then 1. So, 1 means here it is. Then 2. Where is 2? Here. 2. And then 4. 4 means here 5, 6 and then 8. Where is 8? That is in this 4th row. First column. And then 9, 9 means here it is 9, then 12, 13, 14, okay. 12, where is 12? 12, 13, 14. So now we have placed all the values of given Boolean expression in the K map. Is that okay? After placing the values, the next step is to group the maximum number of ones together. Okay, so here we have one octet, right? Octet means what? Group of eight ones. So we can straight away make a group for this eight ones. So this is the first group. Is that okay? So next we have three ones here. So first we can group this two along with this two. Correct? In the introduction class itself I told you we can make Grouping of the leftmost column and the rightmost column, right? So, because these two columns are adjacent. Is that okay? So, now we have made a group for this four ones. So, likewise, we can make another one quad. 
so here only one is left out so what we are going to do means we can group this two but there is one more possibility for making as a quad quad means group of fours so what we are going to do we are going to group this four ones together as another group okay so by this way we can reduce the number of variables okay if i'm going to group only two two bits then it can increase the number of variables or number of min terms unnecessarily so we want to minimize the boolean expression to the maximum level for that we have to group maximum number of ones together is that okay so in the next step we are going to form the simple version of boolean expression for this octets let's start with this update okay for this group of eight bits okay so what is the expression boolean expression so for this two rows what is the common value here it is c bar c bar here it is d bar here it is d correct so we can take c bar alone so here c bar what about this rows okay for what about this rows yes all terms are cancelled each other so there is no variables from this four rows okay all the terms cancel each other okay so the next step so for this group for this eight values okay or the group of eight bits its boolean expression is simply c bar alone is that okay and then come to the second group okay this one and this one this fours okay so what about the common terms for this two column the common variable is d bar here it is d bar here it is d bar here it is c bar here it is c so common term is d bar alone so for this four ones here it is d bar for this two rows the common term is what a bar so we can write a bar d bar so for this four ones its expression is a bar d bar likewise the next to four correct this is what the next group okay so for this group the common term is here it is again d bar here it is again d bar so d bar is a common term variable for this two rows the common term is b correct so b d bar so finally we can write the answer as the function f is equal to c bar okay this is c bar plus here it is a bar d bar a bar d bar plus this is b d bar so this is the final answer is that okay do you all understand this so we can easily simplify any complex expression using this schema to its simplified version